Good day, Cowboys fans. So, thank you all for liking. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for subscribing. It's your boy, Fuss the King. Um, so, I just wanted to come to you all with a quick film breakdown, basically breaking down three plays from the preseason game, the Cowboys preseason opener against the, against the Arizona Cardinals. Now, this was the Hall of Fame game. Much scheme didn't go into it, but you can still see things. You can still see traits, and it's still film that you can cut up. You know, players who who, who showed a little a little something. And I just I just picked out three plays, and it wasn't a, a tough breakdown or a hard breakdown or a very complicated breakdown, but it was just something to just to kind of let you guys know what I see and what when where we can improve. So hope you guys enjoy. Again, continue to like, share, subscribe. And let others know. Send them one over here. And thank you guys for helping the channel grow. It's your boy Fuss the King. So, as we run it forward here, you can see obviously this is the Rico Gathers touchdown. He goes up, basically seals the defender off 47. And that's the thing that you like about uh, Rico Gathers. So, on this play, he's doing the dance and he's very excited right there. The route wasn't the best route. Right there, kind of circles the route, kind of doesn't sharpen it on that up and out. However, the thing that you like about Rico is he did know how to use his body. As we take it back, you'll see, and I slow it down, he almost runs <clears throat> in the linebacker's way. So he has to run a crisper route. And throughout the rest of his film during this game, Routes were okay, blocking was and eh, so so, but this is something that you just can't. It's almost like it, it's just something that you just can't teach. You can't coach it. It's either you have it or you don't. And the fact that he is really such a good rebounder, he was one at Baylor, and now you just look how he was able to use his body, shield off the defender, and just basically without jumping. I mean, he's six five and he's huge, and he uses that six five, and even the way he runs. It, 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 he's getting there, you know what I mean? Like, it, it's kind of a gallop, but he got there, was able to score the touchdown, basically high point the ball. His, he didn't get off the ground maybe two feet, but nonetheless, the fact that he was able to seal the safety, safeties in, in smaller defenders, they're just going to be a matchup nightmare. This play right here from Shadobi Awuzie is very special, and I'll tell you why. Early in the game, he looked kind of shaky, right? But watch this break on the ball. Right, break, boom. Go get it. So it looks like they're in a zone concept, and they're in the second quarter. And so obviously, you know, he knows and, and, the, and the defense knows that what they have to do is, you know, get a couple more yards for a field goal. But you like Cheeto. If you look early in the play, his head was, and he was watching the quarterback's eyes the whole time. All he had to do right there was finish the play, but you like the awareness from a first year, basically a rookie. You like that awareness, his head's in the backfield, and that's what he did at Colorado so much. You like that a lot. Just didn't finish the play, just didn't get the INT. But nonetheless, that was a great play from Cheeto Awuzie. Now, okay, so this play from Cooper Rush is very significant. It was a good play. Now you see it's an all dog blitz, meaning that they're selling out and they're going to play man across the board. The thing that you like from Cooper Rush, though, was that he didn't look goofy with pressure coming. Didn't drop his head, didn't throw the ball away, didn't make a bad throw. He gets the pass out to Nwuku Wu. I have no idea how to pronounce his name. And he was able to score the touchdown. That's pretty good poise for a guy. Something about Cooper Rush that I like. Um, I, don't, I, I just said that I just uh, recorded a show with Joe Rob, but it's something about this kid that I like. It, I'll be watching him moving forward as we play the Rams, see if he gets some playing time, and then just moving forward in the rest of these preseason games. Anyway, it's your boy, Fuster King. Thank you guys for liking, sharing, subscribing. I'm out. Peace.